Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm just going to give you a view of um, um, a mission that I'm editing. Uh, it's kind of in play at the moment and um, how to pull together the clouds in the new mission editor uh, along with um, actually uh, building out your own um, aircraft. Um, so I'm going to go into the mission editor here. I've prepared one earlier so I'm just going to open that now when it does so there we go and I'm going to go down to the mission I'm creating which is this one I'll just open that up and the whole idea is just to give you a flavor of how simple it is to to put the clouds into your mission um, and also how easy it is also to just set up a quick uh, aircraft to, to fly in it. Now, um, I've also put a carrier group in there. I've set the carrier group up already, and the intention is here to um, give you a view of a case three recovery uh, from that uh, from that mission. So I'm going to go straight into the mission, fly the aircraft, and take it into a case three recovery. And obviously this is version 2.7 um, so let's just to see and feel what a K3 would look like um, in a new cloud environment so here we are as you can see I've created a mission this is in the Persian Gulf map I've put a load of uh, SAM sites here both for blue and red as well as aircraft as well but uh, I'm not looking to engage any of that. Uh, what I'm looking to do here is first of all give you a view of the clouds. So I've actually got this in the evening, but what I'm going to do is actually bring that back a bit. So I'm going to make that at uh, say 1700 hours. Uh, so just to give you a view of that. And what I want to do here is click on this square here, which has nothing. And you can see a whole range of different cloud scenarios that uh, Eagle Dynamics has kindly set up. Um, I'm going for I'm going to go for this one: overcast and rain times three. So I'm going to I'm going to set that one up. I'm not going to put any wind in there um, because um, it's going to I think it's going to be difficult enough and challenging enough as it is. So so that's set up. Um, I'll just quickly save that do that right okay and now what I'm going to do is set up a little aircraft and this will be my aircraft so so I'm just going to put this is as test one uh, test one sorry and I'm going to put it as an F-18 so we just scroll down to F-18 lot 20 make that a client um, so and I'm going to put it let me see where should I put it uh, do, do, do a reasonable distance uh, it's 30 nautical miles that's 40 that's 50 so that's roughly about 50 nautical miles so if I put it over here yeah about there Okay. There we go. Right, and what I've done is I've selected the F-18, and the nice thing here is you've got a nice little picture of the F-18 now, which is which is uh, um, quite nice. Now, before I don't know if you remember, the picture used to be in this bottom right-hand corner, and you used to be ha have a drop-down menu here. Now it's set up here. Here's the paint scheme. So I've got some of my own paint schemes in here. So I'm going to choose one of my own. So I'm going to go for this one wild card. Uh, so I'm going to go cameo. And uh, as you can see, you can change the view of the uh, of the aircraft so you can get an all round view of what it looks like. I do like this because it uh, gives you a good view uh, 
of what that kind of looks like. So now then, what shall I choose here? Um, do, 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 do. I'm just having a look here. I don't want to put too much heavy stuff on because uh, actually it says ammo type default. That's fine. That's stamp standard tracer, so that's fine. Uh, let's have a look here. Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, this one here. Uh, and as you can see, it's filled the load up here, so you can see that, which looks quite nice. And you can still move it. There's still a bit of a lag. I've got an i9 uh, with a 1080 uh, Ti graphics card. So there's still a little bit of a lag, so there is a little bit of performance, but okay, I'll accept that. I'm going to get rid of these bombs, so what I'm going to do is just right click here. Uh, which is what I used to do anyway. Actually, do I do it here? Okay, so I'm just going to remove that payload, or can I do it from up here? Let's have a look. Right clicking on this part here. Uh, no, it's not seen to rectify, so I'm going to do it here. It takes a little bit of time. Oh, now it's moved up. Okay. Interesting. There's a, a bit of a delay. Okay, let me right click here then. Let's see if that does anything. <laughs> Uh, so, hmm, don't know why that is. Right, now I'm going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, okay, so let's just remove that payload. Yep, okay, it's done it. That's fine. So, I'll go with that. Now I'm going to put a few, uh, let me just... Put this, I'm going to put this up at 15,000 feet and I'm going to put some 400 knots and uh, I'm going to add a waypoint here. Actually, let me just delete that one and then add. So I'm just going to put it zoom in a bit here. One here and then there just a couple of waypoints here just so we know where we're going so I know the uh, ILS is set to 11 TACAN is 74 x-ray and the carrier um, co uh, comms is 127.5 so I've, like I said I've just set this up I'm just save this there we go what I'm going to do is get into the mission so here we go Let's see what it looks like. So now this takes a little bit of time sometimes to actually load up, and I'm guessing that's because of obviously the, the you know uh, I mean it took me 70 gigs of data to download, which took a few hours. I think it was about three hours in total. So obviously it's a lot more information here. So you can expect a little bit of a a delay in um, or lengthy time in getting your mission all loaded up um, which I guess is hardly surprising I suppose anyway let's see what this looks like just make sure all my switches are set on my HOTAS uh, which is a uh, Warthog uh, but I've got the F-18 stick with the Warthog so here we go. Ooh, look at that. So get into the aircraft, click OK. And let's see what this looks like. I can see some heavy rain there. Right, right, here we go. So Right, wow, look at that. OK, 
Okay, so we're at 15,000 feet and we've got quite a lot of heavy rain here. Oh, it didn't. It, oh, that's interesting. It didn't deposit me at 15,000 feet, even though I'd set it. Uh, okay, so I'm down at 5,000 feet. Let me switch these lights on. Put my nav lights on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up then to 15,000 feet. So, we've still got fuel set to slow. I'll set the bingo to 8,000. It's pretty standard. Just make sure. Okay. Just uh, now set this one to the HSI. There we go. Waypoint auto. There we go. So we're following that. Ooh, look at that. Nice. In the cloud. I'm guessing here. It's interesting how this looks. So I've put me uh, lights on. So. Let's have a look what it looks like from the outside. Wow. So let's uh, nose it down a bit. That is awesome, look at that. Now put a bit of burner in. So I'm slowing down a bit, so I'm going to put my nose down 5 degrees. I'll switch that to 1.1, 30 miles. Okay, that's up 15,000 feet. Look at that. That is awesome. Those clouds lead absolutely awesome. just looks immense. And look at that, you can still see a gap in the clouds, I think. It's difficult to say. I'm guessing that's a gap in the clouds anyway. Oh, there, seeing that on the other side. Quite be in the eye of the hurricane, isn't it? Right. So, uh, what I'm going to do, let me just uh, put this on autopilot for a second. Okay. Just to make sure. Oops. Right, okay. Uh, ATC. And uh, there's the George Washington. Let's make sure I've sent that to 127. So 50. Go inbound. Marshall 013. Marking Mops 143.60. Angels 17. State 12.3. Okay, so uh, need to get down to uh, Angels 8. Let me just uh, switch the SA on as well. Make sure I've got that entered. Uh, ILS clear on, clear 11, enter. Uh, that's fine. TACAN on, clear 74 X ray, enter. So I've got. Uh, I'll set that in a minute. So I'll switch this to uh, HUD. Uh, in fact, I'll go HUD on this side actually. And on this side, I will go HSI. Right, 40 miles set, and 
uh, we'll head to waypoint and at 8 and then uh, switch to Tacan. So I'm going to hit start my descent towards waypoint 1. So let's bring that right a bit. Slow that down. That is beautiful, it's got to be said. That it looks just awesome, doesn't it? The depth is stunning. Okay, let's bring it back around. So I'll slow it to 350 knots. About an 18 uh, recovery time. So So switching to waypoint two, which is roughly where the carrier is. So it's 40 miles closing. So now descending into the cloud. So what I will do now is switch to TACAN, switch to ILS. So we'll set master arm, switch that to off. Um, so they're boxed. So I've got my tap going set up. Yeah, on, 74 X-ray. Enter. Getting a distance. Let me just have a look here. Hmm. Okay, tank out. Clear. So three. And no. Okay, so four enter. No, I've got something, but it's not picking it up. I don't know whether that's a bug. Or me just having uh, not picked out. But also, ICLS I set to uh, channel 11. Enter. And that's not picking it up either. Hmm. So again, I don't know whether that's a bug or not. Anyway, let's see what happens when we break through 5,000 feet. So what I'm going to do is. Switch that back to waypoint two. I've got 28 miles. I'm getting the radar returns, so that's definitely there. I've got to go here, go to EW, keep that on. I think I'm going to switch it off the HUD, otherwise, I'm just get too much information there. So let's see what happens anyway. Coming down 7,000 feet. Altitude. Altitude. So what I'm going to do is, I'm supposed to be at 6,000 feet when uh, I hit 21 miles, so... I'll say established. Zero, one, three. Abort inbound, resuming mission. That's not what I wanted to do. Start one all three. over again. Marky Mops one three six four two two Angels six point five State one one point six 
0-1-3. Courage Marshall, base 2 recovery, CV-1 approach, expected BRC-3-1-1. Altimeter is 2 9 9 3 0 one, three. Marshall Mothers, 1 3 one. Radio, 2 one. DME Angels, 6. Expected approach time is 1-8. So, a bit annoying. Zero one three. Marshall on the three one one twenty one DME Angels six. Expected approach time is one eight. Zero one three. Read back correct. This is not going to be the tidiest of approaches, by the way, guys. Uh, again, this is just a test. So, for some reason, my um, attack end doesn't seem to have been set. I don't know why that is. It's uh, coming up here, but it's not. It's not coming up here. So it's showing attack cam, but it's not giving me a distance. And also, my CLS is not. Doesn't seem to be working. Do not know why. Box them. Set them. Enter. Both on. Attack cam's on. I'm not getting anything, so I'm not quite sure why that is. So I'm going to switch back to the waypoint because it's the only thing I know where it's 21 miles. Time slot 17.11, and you know what? I'm not going to wait until 18 because in reality, this is just a test. So I'm going to slow it to 250 knots. Swing it back round and start it again. So I'm going to make an assumption that the, uh, I'll put it back on Takan in a minute, but as I've got a distance, rough distance to the carrier here, I'm going to start commencement at 21 miles from to waypoint 2 and see how we get on. Slow it back to 250 knots. I know it's early. Well, by the time we start, it's going to be maybe 4 2014, so four minutes early, but well, no, I don't give a crap. Zero one three. Established Angels 6. State 11.2. One, one Three. Roger, state one one two. Zero one three. Commencing, state one one point two. Altimeter two nine or point nine or three. Zero one three. Radar contact two four miles. Expect final bearing three one one. Zero one three. To, uh, normally it says platform, but... Zero one three. Commencing. State one one point two. Altimeter two nine or point nine or three. Altitude. Altitude. Zero one three. Radar contact two two miles. Expect final bearing three one one. Zero one three. Now normally after that you get a, an option here for platform as well as check-in but that doesn't seem to have changed so I'm just thinking that it might be a bug anyway continuing with my uh, 0 1 approach. 3 switch approach right so I'm going to switch approach and switch attack down. that's 
at least I'm getting the line here that Taka, that's that's roughly where the bearing uh, aircraft carrier is so I don't I've lost me uh, the only thing is I don't know the distance so that's the only thing on the crew speed just dropped a little bit too much so here we go I'm gonna just bring up now I can see I don't know if you can see there but uh, you can see the light and it's flashing red so that means I'm way left so I'm going to come to the right here to get myself back on track just hope I'm not too close that's all so let's get this nose down a bit ah, now it's changed if you look at the top right hand corner so I'm going to check Zero in one three. checking in 18 miles ok so I'm 18 miles so at least I know that Zero one three BRC three one one zero one three. Okay, let's get that nose down a bit. Right, this is going. This should be case three, surely. Anyway, let's continue. see the red dot there I'm still by the looks of it yeah quite left so I'm gonna bring it to the right here a bit and level out Okay. Wow, I'm way too fast. I have two checks. Zero one three. Checking in. Twelve miles. Zero one three. BRC three one one. Zero one three. Checking. Zero one three. Checking in. Ten miles. There we go. Ten miles. Zero one three. Clear down. Flaps three down. One, one. I'm still red. Zero one three. So I'm very much still. So switch the air brakes off now. I need to just get myself on speed. dropped a bit too much here so I'm still trying to get on uh, on track here but uh, saying so let's uh, bring it to the right here let's see if this will do it F2 check in Zero, one, three. checking in 8 miles BRC three one one. Okay, that flashing is zero one to three. Subside. So I'm going to start coming back in gradually. Just hold it there for a second. Do a check in again. So zero one three. Checking in six miles. Miles. Zero one three. BRC three one one. Zero one three. Now I've got no ILS here, which is no, that's red. So and there's the yellow. I need to bring it back now in before it goes green and it's gone green so I'm going to have to back to the left here there we go I'll bring it to the right right here we go F2 check in 013 checking in 4 miles 
Right, again, no Alice, no Tacken, even though I boxed them. Right. Just want to make sure. To the right a bit. Yellow, there it is. <coughs> Shit, nope. 458. To the right again. There's the yellow. To the back. Yeah. There we are. Oh, come on. I just keep going into the red a bit. So bring it to the right here. Yellow again. This is going to be quite hairy. I can't see a damn thing here. So there's the aircraft carrier, just at 300 feet now. Just holding that, hold that a bit low, as you can see. Getting the ball here. Now coming back down and goes down. Sounded different. There we are. Duck is green. Well. I know he said case two, but for my mind that's case three, definitely. Why would you do a run and break on that? But anyway, that's just me. Oh. Mark it. said a case 2 recovery but that was definitely a case 3 as far as I'm concerned you can't say so you could see more than 500 feet there bloody hell anyway got on there don't know what wire I caught uh, but yeah it was just to give you a flavor I, I've got to say the weather is absolutely awesome and the, and the cloud the clouds look awesome I mean, look at that that just looks awesome there I mean, better look at the clouds. Just beautiful. You see the the the, the droplets there. <laughs> awesome. That's just brilliant. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, certainly, I will do some more of those. But uh, yeah, it looks really different now, and there's a lot more clarity around the graphics. Uh, that I can see here so it does look better I've got to say that I hand it to Eagle Dynamics they've, they've really come through in this place see, there's still a few bugs uh, clearly so um, but I'm sure they'll iron that out Chief, place the wheel chucks just put the wheel chucks on copy and I'm going to shut place. down there you go. Right. Thank you for watching. Take care.